Are you wondering how you can use an iPad at an open house to have your guests sign in? And how can you send them a link to the listing so that you can officially call it a paperless open house? I'm gonna answer those questions and show you exactly how to do it. Keep watching. Everybody, Neil Mathwick here, Agent Rise, where we help real estate agents build businesses that they love. Today, we're talking open house registration using an iPad. How do we do it? How do we set it up? What are the advantages of it? Well, let me let me tell you about the advantages first, and then I'm going to get into showing you exactly how to do it. The advantages is that you can now say that you're doing a paperless open house. When somebody comes to the open house, you just say, hey, we don't waste paper here. Instead, I'd love to have you sign in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send you automatically the link to the listing so you can have everything right on your phone. The other advantage is, is that you're gonna get good information. I don't know what it is, but when people get an iPad in their hand, they don't enter in mickeymouse at gmail.com, especially if they know they're gonna get the information on the property on their phone immediately after signing in so it gives them an incentive to actually want to sign in the other advantage is, is once they sign in it goes right into your CRM so for future contacts or notes that you need to make or anything that you you want to document about that person it's all right there in your CRM immediately after they sign in the other advantage too is the link that we're gonna send them to to get the information that the link that we're gonna text or email them it goes to your website and then if you set up a Facebook pixel on your website they'll immediately start to see your other Facebook ads so they're gonna meet you at the open house and later that day there you are on Facebook Another advantage to doing a paperless open house. So let's get into the nuts and bolts. I'm gonna use Easy Agent Pro because I have an Easy Agent Pro website and I use Follow Up Boss for my CRM. So I'm gonna show you how to use Easy Agent Pro, which if you don't have, don't worry about it. There's plenty other websites out there. All you need to make sure is that your website has a landing page that you can make into an open house registration. Otherwise, you could always use something like lead pages or just companies that just lets you use landing pages or just create landing pages because that's all you need is a simple landing page that you can pull up on your iPad and then we need to integrate that landing page with your CRM and pretty much all CRMs integrate across the board with everything else. Um, worst comes to worst you might have to put Zapier in between to help with the integration uh, but we're going to leave all of that out of this video. If, if you have questions just put them below and I'll answer them um, but we're going to use Easy Agent Pro and we're going to use Follow Up Boss and I'm going to show you how to do that integration right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up our API. This is so that Follow Up Boss and Easy Agent Pro work together so that they're integrated. So now let me show you how to set up the API. So we're going to go in here. I'm inside my Easy Agent Pro dashboard. I'm going to click on apps right here and then one of the apps that we're gonna use here inside Easy Agent Pro is Paths. So we're gonna click on Paths, and then once we're inside Paths, we're gonna go up here to the top where it says API Settings, and we're gonna click on that. So now we're inside API Settings, we're gonna hit the plus symbol. And mine is Follow Up Boss, so I'm gonna come down here and select Follow Up Boss, but whatever your CRM is, they have them all listed here. If it's Top Producer, HubSpot, Follow Up Boss, Wise Agent, MailChimp, Constant Contact, BombBomb, Lion Desk, I mean, you name it, they're all in here. So hit Follow Up Boss, and it's already gonna pick up mine, but let me show you where you can get your API. It's, it, my, you know, Easy Agent Pro already recognizes that I set this up, but let me get yours. So let's pretend that this box is blank. We need to put your API key in here. And you get that by going over to your follow-up boss account and click on admin. And then once you're in admin, there's gonna be another tab that says API. And click on that and right there is your API key. So you just grab that by copying it and then come back over to follow up boss and put your API right here. And that's all you need to do to set up your API. 
So once your API is set up, now Follow Up Boss and Easy Agent Pro know each other and are okay to communicate with each other. Now what we need to do is we need to set up what's called a path so that when you have somebody fill out a form on your Easy Agent Pro website and it gets sent to Follow Up Boss, you need Follow Up Boss needs to know what to do with that information. So now we're going to set up a path. So now to set up a path, we're back on the dashboard. We need to click Apps. And then we need to go down to Paths. And this is the same place that we were at for the API. So you might already have this screen open once you get done working on your API. And then we're going to create a new path. And we're going to name the path Open House EAP to FUB. All right. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to select Follow Up Boss. We're going to select the action plan. It's going to be open house leads. And then I'll show you once we get this path set up and when we get into follow up boss, it's going to know what to do once somebody comes into follow up boss using this form. And we're going to call this a buyer inquiry and we're going to save it. So now we have Easy Agent Pro and Follow Up Boss integrated so that they can communicate with each other. Plus, we also have the path so when the form comes in, Follow Up Boss knows what to do with it. Now we're going to create the actual landing page that you're going to use at your open houses. To do that, we're going to be back in the apps section and we're going to scroll down till we see squeeze pages. Easy Agent Pro calls their landing pages squeeze pages. So we're going to open up the app called squeeze. Once that opens, we're going to come up here and we're going to click on create new squeeze. Then we're going to look through the categories that Easy Agent Pro has already created and they have one that's called open house. So we're going to click on that. And then there's two different types, two different templates that you can pick from. I've chosen to go with this template. I don't really know why, I just think I like it better. So that's the one we're going with. So you click use this template and it opens it up. Now you can customize this. There's so many things that you can do on this page. So you can put in the address right here if you want or you can just simply delete it and say, I don't even want that in there. Uh, you can put the price, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, you know, whatever you want, you can, you can type. Uh, you could even do welcome if I could type, <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, or you could put the exact address. You also could put your logo here. I'm going to add my team's logo. So there's my logo. And I mean, you can even change the colors on this. Let's say I want this to match our team's colors. I can do that. So once you have all of this set up, now we want to go all the way down to the bottom and we want to hit paths. All right, so that path that we set up earlier, we want this form to recognize that path so that when somebody fills this out, this form will then communicate with Follow Up Boss. Does that make sense? So we're going to come down to the bottom here and we're going to click on paths. And remember that path that we created earlier? Open House EAP to FUB. We click on that. And now that path is selected so that when somebody fills this form out and now this information will then go into our CRM follow up boss. So then we're going to hit done editing. All right. So now it's going to ask us, where do we want to redirect this after somebody fills this out? For now, we're just going to select the thank you page. And after we have this all created, Easy Agent Pro is going to give us a link that we can then use when we get to the open house to plug into our iPad, but also that link could be set up in this page so that we have the ability to redirect right back to that page. So when somebody fills out the form, they hit submit, it opens up the page to the exact same spot so the next person could fill it out. But unfortunately, we can't set that up right now. We have to hit Thank you for now. And then we're going to go back. Once we get our link, then we'll go back and we'll add that in. So for now, we're just going to hit thank you page. We're going to hit launch and I'm done. I'm going to name this brand new open house 
sign in and hit save. And right here is that link that I've been looking for. All right. So this is the link. I'm going to copy this link. And then I'm going to go back to customize. And I'm going to hit done editing. And then I'm going to hit change to redirect. And this is where I'm going to plug that link in so that when, again, when somebody gets done filling this out, it opens up the page again for the next person. So change to redirect. And I'm going to put that link right there because I copied it from the previous page. Now I pasted it here and I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to hit launch again. And I'm going to hit save one more time. All right, so now let's go test all of this out. It should work. Uh, Easy Agent Pro and Follow Up Boss have been, both been integrated. The form has been set up. The landing page has been set up. So let's give it a test. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna paste in the link. And this is gonna open up the landing page. And again, this is the same link that you're gonna use when you go to your open house and you get your iPad out, you open up this link. And here's your landing page. So it'll look just like this on the iPad. So you fill this out. And all the information's there. Sign me in. And there it is, the link, the lead just popped up. I got a new lead, how exciting is that? So now when this new lead comes in, we need to go into lead flow to tell it what to do inside Follow Up Boss, just to make sure it's all working correctly. So you're going to click on admin and then you're going to click on lead flow and then there's the new lead that came in and we just need to make sure that the action plan is set on open house leads and then if this is the case it will automatically email them uh, whatever you have set up in your open house lead campaign. So then I'm going to come over to action plans and look at my open house leads action plan. I'm going to click on that. So immediately, once somebody signs in, they're gonna get the open house buyer lead email number one. You wanna edit that so it's the property that you're doing the open house for. So to do that, you need to go to your website. My website is, my website is ilovemadisonhomes.com and I'm gonna look up the property that I'm doing the open house on. It's in Sun Prairie. And just to make it easier so that I don't have to go search for it, I'm just gonna grab one of these here. So let's say that this is the house that I'm doing the open house on. It's not my listing, but let's just pretend for this video. So I'm gonna grab this link and then I'm going to go back to my email and follow up boss. And I'm gonna paste the link right here Follow-up boss makes it look fancy, adds this once you select the link or paste the link. And then you're just gonna go down to save. So everybody that now uses that form and signs in, they're gonna now get that email. Now remember, you have to go in before every open house and change this so that you have the open house that you are doing the open house at uh, all set up. Another really cool feature in all of this is texting. Uh, so you can set this up. Some CRMs have this and some don't, so I don't wanna get into detail about this, but you can also set this up to text people and you just go in there and you change the link in the text feature so that it texts them the link as well. And the last thing I recommend setting up in something that I don't wanna get into detail right now about because it would be a whole video by itself, and that is setting up a Facebook pixel. You can do that by setting up a Facebook pixel in the back end of your website. So anybody that visits your website will now begin to see your ads if you're running ads and your ads are connected to that pixel. Does that make sense? So because because what you're doing here is you're sending people to your website, right? They get that email, they click on that email, they wanna know more about that house. Uh, then once they click on that email, they're going to your website. And if you have a Facebook pixel set up now, they're going to start seeing your ads. So there's a lot of really cool features that you can add to this by 
doing this open house registration on your iPad. So that's how you do it. I, I wanna hear from you. What do you think of this? Are you excited to implement it? Do you have more questions? Uh, put the questions in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Also, if you're new to this channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button, by all means, do that. It would be really cool if you did. You'll see more videos like this to help agents build businesses that they love. And if you wanna hit that bell, you'll get notified every time we release a new video, which we release a new video every week. So thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day. And like always, remember to be the reason somebody smiles today.